Hey Gemini, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we're about to do a reading for your sign today. That being said, as usual, this is not a sign for you because I don't know who you who's watching this. So it can't be a reading for you. It's a general reading for the sign of Gemini today. Uh, if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart at all, this reading very well may apply to you. It may resonate with you. It may not. If it resonates with you, that's awesome because that means that I'm doing my job and the cards are speaking directly to you today. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's just not your reading. Um, what else? If you want a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TorahStarTarot.com. You can get $10 off of a reading if you use the promo code YouTube2019 at checkout. Um, what else? Oh yeah, uh, there's a link in the box below. Make sure, well, I can't say make sure, but I highly recommend that you um, download your natal chart. It's a free unaffiliated website and you can download your astrological natal chart, which will tell you all the planetary positioning and on the day and the time that you were born. It's important because your sun sign, which today is Gemini, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you feel about your world. It's how you process that information. And your ascending sign is how you disseminate that information back out into the world, right? So it comes in as your sun sign, processes as your moon sign, and goes back out as your ascending sign. So check that out. It's kind of important to know, especially when you're watching free general readings on YouTube. It'll really give you a much, a much larger perspective of what's going on in your world. All right, let's get started on this real quick. This is going to be short and fast, and um, I know that it, that's kind of disappointing sometimes. Some people like it short and fast, but it is. It's just a very direct and to the point reading. This reading is um, touching on the last reading that you had, which I believe I called um, Fast Changes or Freaking You Out. And this um, is just a, a continuation of that in a way. It's a, it's a small pocket of processing, and it may just give you some confirmation. It may give you a heads up. It may just make you feel... Um, some understanding a little bit, okay? So here we go. First card out is the Fool card, right? This Fool card is about taking a new journey, having a new beginning. This Fool card, I do want to point out, being a major arcana, is a life lesson. The lesson that you need to learn from this Fool card today, for whatever reason, is that when you start a new journey, you can't take anything from the past with you. This guy has a satchel on his walking stick, and that's all he has, right? That's it. That's all he has. If this was me, that would probably be like coffee and my tarot cards and maybe a couple protein bars, right? <laughs> so he has nothing but the basics with him. He has the white flower, which indicates innocence and purity. He's got his little white dog right there, which is all about loyalty. And he's heading out on a new journey. The next step he takes, he's stepping off that cliff, right? The moral of this card, the moral of the story of this card, is that when you start a new journey, you cannot take baggage with you. If you truly, truly want a new journey in your life, you have to leave all of your baggage on the curb. Take the bare necessities with you and head out without a second thought, without looking back. That's the lesson of that card. The card that clarifies that is death, right? It's an ending, a change, a transformation, and a transition in your life. It's the card of Scorpio, may mean something, may not. And the lesson for this is Major Arcana as well. And the lesson for this is to be able to embrace, to, to accept when something is ending in your life, to embrace change right? Embrace change, transformation, transition. When this death card comes, it's important to understand that things are ending. Nothing ends something like death. It's over. Whatever was back here is over. It's, it's done. And you're going to have a change and a transition in your life. Next card out is the Nine of Cups. This Nine of Cups says 
that this ending, this change, this transformation, this new journey is a wish fulfilled for you. It's a wish fulfilled. It's something that you have wanted for a good, hard minute in your life. And it's clarified by the devil in, the, in reverse. Now, this is the card of Capricorn. May mean something, may not, okay? This devil card in reverse talks about releasing limiting beliefs. And I think this is super interesting. This is another major arcana. So you have three major arcanas in a row, right? And um, limiting, releasing limiting beliefs. The lesson here is just that. It's just that, is that we have to release. First of all, we have to identify what our limiting beliefs are. And then we have to release them. You know, the word limiting is self-explanatory. It limits our progression through our path of life, right? It limits us and we have to let it go. We can't live a limited life. And it's, it's so interesting to me that you have the new journey right there where you have to leave all of your baggage on the curb and take nothing but the bare minimum with you. Then we have death which is change, transformation. And then we have releasing limiting beliefs. So Gemini, um, there might be a very important life lesson right there for you with the three of these cards together, something you may want to consider, contemplate, roll around in your head for a minute. The universe is trying to tell you something right there. Next card out is temperance. You see this new journey, this change, this transition in your life as your purpose at this particular point in time. You see it as your purpose and you have balance within yourself about it. You have um, purpose. The card is Sagittarius, may mean something, may not. You have the, uh, you have the card of Sagittarius. <laughs> you have purpose. This, this, this whole thing right here is purpose for you. Nine of Cups. The purpose is wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. You have two nines right there. You have three major arcana and two nines. Nines are all about fruition, attainment, bringing things to a conclusion and a completion and fulfillment, right? It's about idealism and inspiration. Nines in a reading mean that situations or events are nearing completion or they've, or they've just been completed and another plateau, plateau awaits, right? I mean, that's this whole group right here. That's what all of this is saying is that you have something brand new waiting for you right around the corner. Very exciting. It's extremely exciting. You know what? I don't really like to leave a major arcana sitting out, face out, all by itself. Let me pull a clarifying card real quick for death and the devil. It just doesn't feel right to me. Oh, look. <laughs> An inevitable end. An inevitable end to what it was, Gemini, in a brand new beginning. The laws of physics says, say, says when something ends, something begins. And it's an inevitable ending. I mean, how random could that possibly be? This is your lesson is to let go. To let go of what was and embrace what is to be. Okay? What about this devil card? What about these limiting beliefs right here? What about releasing these limiting beliefs? <clears throat> oh my gosh. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So ending. Cross is ending. Then we have the devil with limiting beliefs, right? Releasing limiting beliefs. What came out for you? Holy shit, Gem. What came out for you right here? Clarifying that this is a wish that you have wanted for a while, wishes fulfilled. The devil in reverse, releasing limiting beliefs, clarified by 
the commitment card, which is the Hierophant, the card of Taurus. Pausing, surrendering, letting go, coming out on the other side with new perspectives. Home, family, right? Security, control, power, discipline, and abundance is what awaits in a love relationship. Oh my gosh, that is freaking amazing, Jim. That is amazing. God, tarot is just amazing. I just love it so much. You feel like this is a purpose in your life at this particular juncture. This is your purpose. Your purpose, again, another major arcana, the lesson for the temperance card is that we have to have balance and moderation and patience within ourselves and for and with other people. This is also a card of finding the purpose in your life, right? Recognizing the purpose in your life, recognizing when doors are opening for you and the universe is trying to hand you what you have manifested, what you want, right? But be careful of what you want. Sometimes the universe will give you what you want, even if it's not good for you. So a word there. Um, but this is the purpose in your life right now. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Joy, joy, happy, happy with the three of cups, celebration, friendship, creativity, community. I mean, it's just like, it's a happy card. It's a cel celebratory card. And the page of wands comes in and says that you are extremely excited about this, like on fire, extremely excited about this. This is a card of enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, a free spirit. I mean, this is a brand new, shiny opportunity that has come together for you, Gemini. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Whatever you've been doing, You've been doing it right because the universe is bringing this down on you and it is a good thing. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. A couple. The lovers. A couple. Right? You are going to go forward with this new beginning, this change, this transformation in your life as a couple. These cards also talk about having emotional control, security, balance, being calm, cool, collected. The Queen of Cups, she's intuitive as hell. She knows that she knows that she knows that this is where she's supposed to be. Where is she supposed to be? Right next to this King of Cups. Taking this journey with her king. Vice versa, you know, could be the King of Cups taking the journey with the Queen of Cups, okay? But the Queen of Cups knows. She knows that she knows that she knows that this is her place in life and this is where she's supposed to be. Next card out is Strength. Why do you need strength, Jem? Because you have some conflict going on. You have some inner conflict. You have inner conflict because you know that you know that you know that this is going to change your life forever. Forever. This is a card of good luck, karma, one life cycle ending, a new life cycle beginning, and a turning point in your destiny. And you know that you know that you know that this is changing your life forever. And it has you filled with a little bit of anxiety, right? Remember I said I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna leave the major arcana exposed like that. But this lesson here right here, the wheel of fortune, this is about <clears throat> understanding, understanding and recognizing when the universe is trying to turn it over for you and open doors that will end one life cycle and begin a new life cycle for you. It's extremely important to recognize the wheel of fortune when it comes into your life. Because if you miss the boat, if you miss the wheel, right? 
then you're stuck in the same place until that wheel comes around again. It's important to be cognizant and recognize what's going on around you. That wheel of fortune is covered and clarified by the eight of pentacles. Engagement. Working on it. Building something. Right? Commitment. So this inner conflict that you have is, is surrounded by, is rooted in, I should say, rooted in the fact that you know that, that it's on. It's on and it's, it's, it's happening. And it just has you filled with some anxiety. But you're going to talk about it. You're not just going to talk about it. You guys are going to talk about it. You're going to go to your partner and you are going to openly and honestly discuss what this conflict is about over here. What's that conflict about? That conflict is about your sense of independence and self-sufficiency. Your sense of independence and self-sufficiency and, and balance and priorities and adaptability in your life. Perhaps you're concerned that your home, right? Maybe you, have a, a fa maybe you have kids, maybe you have a family, right? And your sense of self-sufficiency and independence is um, s slightly threatened when it comes to coming together excuse me, when it comes to coming together with another person in such a big, huge change. Maybe you're joining families. Maybe you have a house to sell. Anything, right? Anything. But it, it is definitely centered around um, your concern for the adaptability of yourself and everybody concerned with this whole big, huge change that's happening in your life. It could also be a concern about reconciling with somebody, reuniting and reconciling with somebody. Just saying, I mean, it could. It could be a concern about that. But with the Emperor card next to it and the Queen of Pentacles, it really does tell me that you have, um, that you have some inner conflict and some concerns about self-sufficiency and independence, balance, priorities, adaptability in regards to starting this new life. The emperor comes in and he's all about control, authority, and establishment in your life. The queen of pentacles is all about home, family, um, you know, she's, she's practical, homey, motherly, down to earth, grounded, and she represents security, right? So security, establishment, structure, and control in your life, family, self-sufficiency, independence, priorities, and adaptability. That's what your conversation with your partner is going to be about. The result of this conversation is the King of Swords, right? Clear thinking, intellectual power, authority, and truth. You've spoken your truth to this person. And I, I, the way that these cards are, are laying here, um, or lying, I'm not really sure, tomato, tomato, um, say that this conversation went very well. It went very well, and your partner has made you feel very secure, very secure, very clear, and you have uh, uh, about your feelings, right? You've honestly discussed them. And um, you have clear thinking, right? You have clear thinking. You've spoken your truth. And your partner has accepted it very, very well, right? This is a, a good partner. This is nice. Up in your head, thinking about things. Contemplating everything specifically contemplating how you are going to build your empire with this person. What you're going to do when those ships finally dock, the cargo on those ships, what you're going to do with that when it comes into shore, right? In regards to control, stability, and security. 
This whole thing here is about stability. This, I mean, control and stability is like the theme here. You're feeling a little out of control. Like I said in the last reading, you're a little freaked out by fast changes. But you're not freaked out anymore. You're absolutely positively going forward with all of this. You just have some concerns that need to be addressed. And by golly, they were addressed very much so. The, a love relationship, unified love, partnership, relationships, right? You're absolutely, your, your concerns have been placated. And you are going, you're, you're going forward with this whole transition right here. You're doing it. Love relationships, celebration, happiness, friendship. There's you in your power as the queen of wands. Gemini, I know you're an air sign, but that doesn't mean anything. Air signs can take on can take on fire energy. We all do it all the time. And there you are, sitting as a badass in your power, in control. And I think it's interesting that this is um, um, right underneath the emperor at this particular moment because I moved this king of swords. But it ended up underneath the emperor right there, right? Control, authority, establishment in your life. Processing... Boom, come out with control, authority, and establishment. The queen of wands, she's in control of her feelings. She's the queen of fire, the queen of passion, the queen of inspiration, sitting on her throne. She's the most determined queen in the deck, and she's feeling good about the decisions that she's made, and she knows where she's going. See her looking forward? She knows where she's going, and she feels good about it. Interesting. Planning for your future, right? Preparation, foresight, expansion of your world, right underneath there, underneath the, the, the epitome of security and home. Because you know that you know that you know that this is where you're supposed to be right now. Second time temperance has been reiterated in this reading. Queen of Cups, second time she's here. You know that you know that you know. And this Queen of Cups comes in and clarifies that and reiterates that with emotional security. Calm, cool, collected. Shit ton of intuition. She knows that she knows that she knows that she's made the right decisions and that she is in her power because this is where she's supposed to be right now. Planning for your future, progress, making decisions about who or what you're going to invest in, seeing profit and reward down the road, having vision about your future, about investing in your future with somebody. King of Wands comes in and just reiterates this totally a badass sitting in your power completely and totally in control of of your life and your decisions four of pentacles comes in and reiterates that with control stability security And that was the last card. I was expecting to go on and on and on for a minute. But uh, I was so wrapped up in, in, in what's going on here that I didn't realize that that is our last card. So yeah, gems, it looks like you, uh, you are most definitely, absolutely, positively have um, an absolutely beautiful future ahead of you. Beautiful future ahead of you. Tarot, is there anything else that you would like to add to this reading in any way whatsoever? Any kind of parting comments for Gemini? Any Anything they can take away with them? You have anything you want to say? Now's your chance. Now's your chance. We won't be back to Gems for another two weeks. You got anything you want to say? Uh, what was that? Love. Mental clarity. public recognition, victory, progress, 
death twice, change, transformation, transition in your life. The chariot, forward moment, movement, going forwards, going forward and, 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 and taking the next steps into your life. And the two of swords, you've made a truce with all of, all of these, these apprehensions over here. You have made a truce with it all. You have mental clarity. Thanks, Tara. We appreciate that. That was really sweet at the end there. Anything else? Just want to make sure because we're not going to come back to gems for a minute. We're not going to come back to gems for a minute. That was not a flip. That was me being curious. Anything else? I don't think so. All right, Gemini. That was, that was your reading. And uh, I do hope that you enjoyed it. If there's anything I can do for you, Taurus, t Taurus Tarot, TaurusStarTarot.com, right? 40 bucks, we can hook you up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Namaste, my friends. Namaste.